Okay, we want to talk about typology. Typology is a is a type of a shadow that in the Old Testament that tells truths so that we would know what the revelation of the New Testament. So as we look at the tabernacle, we see right here there's a gate, which is only one entrance. Then we move into here, we see that there's an altar, and this is the outer court. And after he have his bloody hands, he have to wash it with water. Then as he enter in, he have bread and a light and so forth. So in this, God is showing us that there are truths behind that. So when I look at this, and there's only one entrance there in the Gospel of John, y'all help me out. What is that saying? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the light. There's only one way to get in there. And many people say that there are many ways to heaven, but there's only what? One. one way. So that's John 14. Now, this is called a tabernacle or a tent. So in John 1.1, 1, 1, it says, in the beginning was the what? Word. word and the word was what? God. With, with God. Yeah. And he is God. But then John 1.14 says, and the word became? Flesh. Flesh. And that's the same word as tent or tabernacle. So what it's saying is Christ came in what? Tabernacle among us. So as he tabernacle among us, he's showing us that he is the way. And now what, what is, what, what is going to be on that altar? Sacrifice. A sacrifice. So in John 1, 29, behold the what? Lamb of God. The Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Okay? So as we continue to move through the Gospel of John, we already see He's the way, the truth, and the life. He is the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. And then John chapter 4, he says, at the well, I am the what? I am the living water. What is in there? Water. water. So in all the depiction of this tent, he is the tabernacle. He is the tent. He is the way, the truth, and the life. He is the Lamb of God that takes away sins of the world. He is the living water. water. And remind you of Ephesians 5, 26. He's the water that washes away our sins. So as you move through there, then there's a showbread. What, what did Jesus say in John 6? I am the bread of life. So you have the manna, you have the bread. And then the next thing you have is what? The candlesticks. What, what is on the candlesticks? The light. What did Jesus say? I am the now, he did not only say that he is the light of the world, but if you go back to John chapter 1, he said he is the light of life that lights all life. But the main emphasis of life is eternal life. So do you see the depiction that not only the tabernacle and the tent, all that is these depiction is when Christ came to dwell in the Old Testament, he's showing everything that he would come to do. He would, he would come to show us the way because God's presence is way back there. And in order to get there, we must go through him. Do y'all see that? Now, we have the priests. Now, the people can come here, but they can't go no further. And in the Old Testament, a priest can come in that court, but only a high priest can go well. And the holies are holies. Every day? Yeah, so these were daily, you can get your bread, you can get your water, you can get your light. But in order to be in God's presence, there has to be a blood. Hebrews 9.22 says, without the, there is no remission of sin. No remission of sin. Leviticus 17.11 says, life is in the blood. So a lot of people say, well, when certain people say they don't say about the cross and they don't say about that. If you say one lost his life and he lost blood, that's saying it's synonymous of losing your life. That's death. So the priest can daily go in there, but only once a year he can go into the holies, holies of holies. What must he bring in order to go into the holies of holies? Blood. blood. So this blood that comes off of this altar is pouring into a pitcher. It was called a basin then that day. Also, you will have to take coals off of there because before you go into the holies of holies, you got to light up candle, but it's incense. Off of that altar and put in there. And as you read Revelation, it said those incense represent prayer. 
Well, do we not remember John 17? What, what was that? The high priestly prayer. So he goes up. So then now he brings that blood and there is the mercy seat with Aaron's rod and the wood and all of that stuff. Now, as you go there, even that, that is plated with gold, up under that gold is wood. What must be poured on the mercy seat? On, and if it's up, what's up under the gold? Wood. So that's already the depiction that blood must be poured on wood. So do we see that in every depiction is showing Christ? Now, t turn to the other picture for me right quick, Alan. Anybody got any questions right quick? Am I helping y'all any? Because without these visuals, you can't. Okay, thank you. What's that? Do y'all know what that is? But what's that? What's that coming up from it? Thank you. The Shekinah glory of God. So in John 1, 1, in the beginning was the word. The word was? And no one has seen God in no time. Only the high priest can enter in into the presence of God. That is the pillar of cloud by night and the pillar of fire. I mean, a pillar, a pillar of cloud by day and a pillar of fire by night. But then when they got done, that cloud rested, which represent what we call the Shekinah. Shekinah? Okay, come on, Bible people. It's the kind of glory. So we already saw John 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning was the word, the word with God, the word is God. But John 1.14 says, the word became flesh. flesh. Come on, keep going. And we beheld. Woo! <laughs> we beheld his glory. glory of the only begotten. The word, the God. John 1.18, no one has seen God at no time. And now the presence tabernacle among us. Who is the only one that can go in in there? But in 1 Peter, it said, you are my high priest. Why is that? Because when we're in Christ, now we have access to the presence of God. Not made with hands, but into the heavens. But the question is for you today, are you going to make it into the heavens? You might make it into the heavens, but you will not remain the eternal. And in that heavens, you might be judged because the Bible says, appointed every man wants to die, and after that is a judgment. Just like that gate of that tabernacle has only one way, Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life. Pick up your Bible, turn to the Gospel of John, look for these truths today, because Jesus is the only way, the truth, and the life.